Okay guys, so I just thought I would show you our track that we've been mowing around the field. Basically, when we're doing carriage driving, this field gets so long. I mean, that part over there is actually our hay field. Obviously, it's been cut this year, but it gets so long and the grass is so tough and tufty and little ponies obviously trip over it and also naughty greedy ponies can actually reach it so um, it's not ideal for driving on my mum's cob blackjack is generally okay with it because he's got big feet and he's a bit higher up but obviously for driving ruby and exercising the other ponies this long grass is not ideal and it's very tempting for them so what we do because we aren't lucky enough to have an indoor or even outdoor arena this this is literally what we've got and that middle bit there we like to use for um, haymaking and obviously over there you can see the fence you can actually see blackjack somewhere oh there he is that's blackjack over there mum's cob that's his area and then obviously if you see this orange fence here, um, it's not been fully set up yet, but that's actually uh, the area that we're going to put the little ponies in once it's been grazed off by blackjack, obviously. So anyway, to exercise the ponies, what we do is we mow ourselves a lunging circle, which is what this part is. And obviously what, what the uh, mower that we have does is it actually cuts it really low to the ground and it turns it into this kind of mulchy stuff. And obviously uh, the ponies aren't turned out here just in case they eat it because obviously it could cause colic. So what we do is we sort of let it rest there for like a couple of days and it kind of just impacts into the ground. Um, and obviously, as long as we make sure that the ponies don't eat it, and obviously once it's been there for a couple of days anyway, they don't even bother trying to eat it because it tastes disgusting. Um, it's purely for exercising. They're not turned out here. So obviously, um, we can use it as a track to drive on, and it's much better. And obviously, because we can now actually see where we're going, um, we've got something to aim at. We can try and keep in a straight line, which is something that I really struggle with when driving. And also... We can go in like multiple different directions. This bit's still yet to be mown. But like this triangle here is sort of like, so we can go up here and around and then back and then over there, which is really cool. Um, sometimes we put some cones on either side of the track and like make it a bit closer in on either side, just so that we've got uh, something to drive through, do a bit of scurry driving practice. But um, so if I show you the track, we do it with a lawn mower. Um, it's a, just like a DIY, pretty simple and effective way of giving yourself somewhere to work your horses if you're like us where you don't have an arena. Um, and obviously I'm not confident enough to do carriage driving on the road yet. So that's another reason why we do it. Um, it's really useful. Um, and also, the other thing I was going to mention is, because we've cut the grass so low now, we're actually able to see any holes or divots or anything that might pose as a hazard, basically. Um, obviously, Bigfoot over there doesn't really bother too much about little holes or divots or, you know, his feet kind of go over them. But for the tiny ponies, um, obviously, they could break a leg really easily on just like a tiny little dent in the ground so what we do is once we've mowed it we walk along here and we basically test it for holes uh, which is really cool um, so that we actually know exactly what we're driving on because that part of the field over there which is where we do the haymaking and everything um, that does tend to have a few holes in it um, and obviously in the winter it gets really muddy, gets quite poached even without horses out here uh, because of vehicles and stuff driving over it. But yeah, what we do is we try to keep it mowed down every so often and it just gives us a really safe, nice place to drive. The ground is really good. Uh, we're quite lucky here because it doesn't actually get that uh, hard here unless it's really, really hot in the summer and we don't have any rain. But like now, 
the going is really good and it's just perfect to have a canter on you know uh, you don't have to worry too much about concussion and all of that sort of stuff so it's really good so I've mowed this entire track here all the way down to there and obviously the lunging circle that I've just showed you over there well you can't see it but I'll show you in a minute um, you can see that I've done it like all the way around here but in a minute I'm going to show you my husband very kindly decided to uh, take over so I'll show you the bit that he's doing in a moment yeah that's uh we leave the bushes there so that the horses can forage and everything which is really nice over there under those trees is I'll have to show you another time because it's a bit of a mess at the moment but that's where we bury all of our animals it's a bit like a pet cemetery over there we're kind of trying to jazz it up a little bit to make it like a nice area to sit in so that's my husband doing his fair share of the work yep He's very good like that. I've got him well trained. And this is the rest of it. It goes all the way to the top of the field and around. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just letting him do all the work for a change because I've didn't I've done most of it. So yeah, it goes all the way up there and all the way down this side and obviously it goes all the way around as well and down to the lunging circle again so it's really ideal you can really pick up quite a lot of speed down here as well um but i find it really good so yeah if anyone's looking for a pretty cheap easy effective easy uh, to maintain method of uh having like a diy place to ride or drive especially if you've got greedy little ponies and you don't have an arena this I highly recommend. All you need is a lawnmower and some energy. That's literally it and obviously to keep on top of it. Um, alternatively, uh, I know a friend of mine, she's got several horses. What she does is she will actually put an electric fence along either side of the track and then she'll actually allow her horses to graze it off like a track system basically. Um, and then then she gets her track that way but obviously we've got ponies that have got laminitis and EMS and we obviously don't want them to have all this grass and even big boy over there blackjack who you can see in the distance um, he's pretty good at grazing it but really it would just be him so you know it's not really ideal and obviously horses tend to pick and choose what grass they have and obviously putting a fence all the way along it it's just it's not very practical so we find that mowing it is actually better so yeah um, if any of you have done the same thing it would actually be really cool to see um, yeah so hopefully that helped you do let me know in the comments below if you've done something similar or if you're thinking of trying this hopefully it helps you thanks for watching bye